Hey ladies, all right, so with the 21 day fix, I've given you a menu that you can go by, but what if you don't like the stuff that I have on that menu? I want you to be able to put something together for yourself. So this is how I have this set up. So if you look, this is what my day typically will look like. I have breakfast, a mid-morning snack, lunch, mid-afternoon snack, dinner, and then I also have a snack right before bed. Now, if I'm on level one for the calorie intake, then I also have these different categories of different types of foods. So for example, for my greens, I have three greens. So I know that right away, I'm gonna spread those out. So if I take those, I know that I typically have some veggies for um, a mid-morning snack. I'm gonna have a veggie at lunch and a veggie at dinner. So what I did, by the way, was I just took um, on my computer on a Word document, I went into labels and I did, um, these are uh, business card size. So on one side, I just printed off the color and then on the back side, the examples of foods that I would eat from that category because there's stuff that I will never eat in the green category, so why would I put it on there? All right, so there's that. Okay, next, I have two purples. So usually one of my purples is gonna be my mid-afternoon uh, mid snack. I might have an apple or some berries or something like that there. And then I always have a fruit with my Shakeology. So that's gonna go in my evening. For my yellows, there's not too many of them. There's only two on this one. So I'm gonna figure out when do I typically eat my yellows. So I might have one at breakfast time um, for a piece of toast or something like that, or typically my yellows are gonna go with my lunch and my dinner. And those are carbs, by the way. All right, so now reds. I have four reds to, to choose from. So I usually use at least one red at breakfast. I'll have a red at lunch, a red at dinner, and then my red in the evening is my Shakeology. So that's there. Now, I also have a healthy fat, which is the blue container. So that's going to go along with my snacks um, in the morning. I usually have veggies and hummus, so that will go there. Now, my orange, um, this is where I can use it for uh, seeds or dressings or something like that. So let's say that my lunch is a salad. That orange could go right there. Um, it could also uh, go with... Uh, if I wanted to do some uh, seeds or nuts with my um, apple, I would put it there. And that's probably where I would keep it, just because there's, it's good to have uh, a carb and a protein kind of put together. And the, the nuts have some protein, even though they're considered an orange and not a red. Um, the other thing that I could do is I also have two teaspoons. So I can use these as oils, or I can use them as nut butters or seed butters. So... One of them is probably going to go with my Shakeology later on in the evening. And then this one might go in the morning um, if I use uh, coconut oil or something like that with my eggs and my uh, sausage. That's my red here. Um, that's where that's going to go. I can move these around any which way that I want to. So let's say that instead of having eggs and sausage in the morning, I wanted to have a pancake or two. So I can move that out. I can keep my teaspoon there. Um, and then I could use my red someplace else. So let's say that I know that I'm gonna do a little bit extra meat uh, at dinner. I can move that red over there. So that's really how you're going to uh, do this. You're just gonna space it out the way that you would normally eat. And then you're gonna come up with meals that fit your needs. Now let's say that you only eat once a day right now. What you might need to do is just add in one extra meal per day. So we're gonna get rid of the snacks, right? Because you're not doing those. Which means that I have all of these extra things that I'm gonna to have to fit in somewhere, okay? So if you typically skip breakfast, that's the first place that I want you to hit up because breakfast really is the most important meal of the day. So you're gonna do, you could do a yellow, a red, You've got your teaspoon, and you can do a piece of fruit if you wanted to. 
For people that aren't used to eating breakfast though, that might be a little too much. So maybe you just have uh, a little light snack mid-morning. And then figure out what you can do with the rest of these. If you can't get them in right away, don't sweat it. Start with something. Just make sure that you're eating at least a carb and a protein and a veggie with the meals that you're eating, okay? That's it. If you have any other questions, just comment right below. Thanks.